My break, my break. Let go. My break, my break. Step back. Come on, ladies, let's go. So you have to think that this will encourage that there should be an influx of female boxers because of the success of people like Christina and uh, Clarissa Shields. Oh, no doubt, and also just the exposure they're getting. Uh, that's the end of the fight, by the way. Uh, we're going to listen to uh, what Christina Hammer has to say at the end of the video first. I mean, uh, the uh, post-fight interview. First, I was going to do this video, uh, Christina Hammer versus Tori Nelson, and do um, the um, Clarissa Shields versus Hannah Gabriel's video together because most of the information I'm talking about in this video, I'm going to be talking about in the next video as well. Because we're going to talk about women's boxing in general as a whole, in my opinion, what's missing and what needs to be done. Now, in regards to this card particular, in, in particular, it was a chance for us to see both of these. Um... I come away from this fight saying that's a professional fight. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, to me, it was uh, easy work for her. It was more like a like a spine match. She was in there just having fun. Uh, Nelson uh, really never put her in any kind of trouble. No. And, you know, she Hammer did what she had to do to control every round and dominated. Nelson knew what she needed to do. She knew, but she couldn't yes. do it. Let me say this. Um, in regards to Tori Nelson, I've noticed they've been mentioning a lot. You're going to have to go over to the Showtime Twitter to watch the highlights. They've been on my ass about this. So we're trying to find like a peaceful resolution of what I can show and what I can't show because obviously because of certain, you know, I'm able to show certain shit, but not certain shit at the same time. So we're trying to find like that middle ground. But anyway, they put it on the uh, Showtime Twitter page. In fact, we're going to go over and look at that later on um, in the video. But I'm going to say this. Tori Nelson for she's 41 years old. They haven't talked about how this is her second correct. No, two out, in the last two out of three fights, she's fought on Showtime. So she fought. Here's the punch stats. Let's look at this. Well, I got my stats together. Percent of her jabs. It's a low percentage, but she throws so many that she was able to control the fight there, and she did have the advantage in power shots as well. But 22% of shots landed for Hammer. That's a pretty low percentage for a fighter winning a fight. All right, let's go to the ring announcer, Pete Trevino. We'll make it all official here. We'll hear the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for both of the fighters in this ring. After 10 rounds of championship boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Procopio scores the contest 100 to 90. Judge Roussel and Judge Chambers both score the contest 99 to 91. All in favor Tori of your sad. winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBO and WBC female middleweight champion of the world. Christina, you know, I haven't heard her post fight interview yet, but she is she's pretty sassy. She be talking some shit in her broken English, but, you know, I, I like it. I'm down for it. Uh, so we're going to listen to our post fight interview. We're going to talk about the 100 and uh, 60 pound women's division and what's there. We're going to talk about the women's uh, women's boxing as a whole and who can fight each other. We we're going to try to round it up in this two-part video so this part we're going to talk about christina hammer versus uh tori nelson and in the next video which is the next fight i'm going to watch we're going to talk about um clarissa shields versus um uh hannah gabriels i'm tissue controversy this is tissue controversy live please subscribe Lady hammer So there's your winner, Christina Hammer, and she does so in impressive fashion, winning on uh, all or winning all the rounds on one card on two cards and winning nine of the ten rounds on the third card. So Christina Hammer uh, intended to come over here and impress people.
And I believe that's exactly what she did. Let's go to Steve Farhood is with Christina Hammer. Christina, I know you're posing for some photos here, but congratulations on a dominant win. Did you do exactly what you wanted to do in the ring? So the best answer uh, will, be, will be a KO, but this decision I accepted. She was a tough fighter, and she get she can get so much hit, hit, uh, punches, and so she's a tough. And uh, I hope the USA is um, uh, is good with this, and I'm the champ. You're still the champ. So right Did there. you do what you wanted to do to impress the American boxing audience? Then I have to say the the public. <laughs> Who's the public? Christina, was there a time that came in the fight where you said to yourself, I'm just not going to get the knockout, that I have to take the win on points? Um, I tried every second. That's boxing. Every second, everything can happen, and you have to be careful till, till the uh, gong, and that's all. Now, there's another fight coming up tonight. I assume you're going to be watching. As Clarissa Shields fights Hannah Gabriels, what will you be looking for? Will you be trying to scout Clarissa or the winner? Uh, I'm very interested in this fight. I can't wait to see this fight and let the best win. And I'm ready for this fight. Uh, who, who is the winner? I fight against it. Congratulations. We'll talk to you later. Barry. All right. Thanks very much, Steve. All right. So let's go look at it. Let's go look at it. We can remove this silly thing now until we figure out. She's 23 and 0 with 10 KOs. Oh, wait, let's go full screen. She's 23 and 0 with 10 KOs. Pretty respectable career among women's boxing fights. Even though this one, the biggest fight of career, by the way, she beat um, the shit out of Holly Holm in one fight. Uh, <laughs> but then Holly Holm did get a revenge. This is um, um, very well known and uh, Sophie uh, Mas uh, Mathis. But she's been fighting on. I've seen her fight multiple times. This is not my first time seeing her fight outside of YouTube. I've seen her fight live, meaning watching a stream on an Arthur Abraham undercard and a few undercards of fighters from over in that region i can't really tell you um exactly but as you can see she is very very tall for um you know just a female in general at five foot ten so what do you first think is that okay all right does she have a jab and yes in fact it seems as you saw with um her first televised fight here in the united states against um uh, Tori Nelson is that the jab is the weapon of choice and is a very deadly weapon because as you see she can box she's not somebody that just throws punches wildly she seems to have a very high ring IQ but of course she hasn't been a boxer her whole life of, and surprisingly you can see a little bit of it in there like where she doesn't have um, um, too much of an amateur background but you can also see um, that like she has like some some solid fundamentals in regards to using her height and using her athleticism to um, move around the ring. So the point I'm trying to make is she does have a great chance to beat Clarissa Shields. Will she do it? Who knows? Who do I have the favorite to win that fight? Clarissa Shields, obviously, because of the pedigree. You know, but we'll see in that fight when these two females do decide to fight each other is that it'll be a good style matchup. Like it'll be a good style um, matchup because you're going to have the boxer and you're going to you, you should expect for for. Uh, Christina Hammond to try to move around the ring, right? And to try to use that that jab and then with her sassiness, a little bit of cockiness, you can you you can kind of picture her trying to go out there and trying to trying to outclass or try to make Clarissa Shields look stupid. You see what I'm saying? So therefore Clarissa Shields is gonna have to go out there and try to put a boot in her ass, cut off the ring and knock her out. Because from what I'm seeing from Clarissa Shields, even though I know the outcome of the fight right now is 6 50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, uh, June the 23rd, um, 2018. I fell asleep on the card last night. I just was too tired, you know, didn't take my nap, but I'm up early right now covering the fight. 
So even though I know the outcome, I want to see, you know, just the overall fight. And I did see the clip of Clarissa Shields getting knocked down. So that's why I said this is going to be a two part video because there's so much to talk about in the women's, you know, division as a whole in regards to names like um, Nicola Adams, um, uh, Katie Taylor. Cecilia Brockus, uh, Michaela Loren, she just got married, don't know if she's still fighting. Uh, Layla uh, McCarter, who's considered one of the best overall fighters, you know, in, in women's boxing right now. And of course, these females we're talking about right here. You know, I know I'm probably missing, you know, a lot of other names. Um, Natasha Jones, these are just new, like newer names. You got the uh, names that are down there in, um, in uh, Mexico where women's boxing as you can see let's go look i looked it up right here now this is according to box Rec because box Rec, when it comes to the women's boxing division is the the most reliable source you can get for like everything when it comes to boxing like like male boxing and news and everything like that not so much so as you can see right here here is you know their list of pound for pound fighters now these are just names that you should you know, no, if you follow the sport of uh, women's boxing, even if it is hard as hell to watch their fights. You know, Cecilia Brockes, you know, uh, Jessica uh, Chavez, the Serrano sisters who uh, fight, you know, out in New York, Katie Taylor, you know, and you may wonder, well, what's going on with Box Rock? How come Clarissa Shields and all that? We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. In fact, I should wait until the next video to do that. But one point I wanted to make before we go from this video is if you really want to try to keep up with the women's titles and who's next for what, it's, it's in disarray because when you go to like the WBC boxing um, uh, women's page, it's just all out of whack and you know stuff takes some pages are dead some stuff you know it's like you'll see for example let me zoom in the rankings are like not there you know like i mean they're there but like they're not like at the same time christina hammer is the wbc so you have um, um, Clarissa Shields, who's the WBC at 168 pounds. Now this is at 160. Clarissa Shields wants to maintain her career at 160 because that's where the big fights are. You got fighters like Cecilia Brockes if she decides to move up to 160, which is, you know, it's a stretch. But in women's boxing, they do do stuff like that. You know, but, you know, it's, it's a 15 pound you know, um, um, 17 pound difference. So see your practice is about 145 or so. But as I was saying, when you go to try to look at like women's rankings or to see, you know, the shakers and the movers and the plus minuses, the only reliable source that you really have is, 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 is really box rec. And if you notice, you know, even we have Clarissa Shields and, 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 um, and, um, Christina Hammer, who's going to be the big fight of this generation in regards to that. Oh, man, we can't be showing that. Why well, nobody tell me this was up? Get out of here. But um, now we got space. My bad. I was I was working on some stuff. So that's why that's there. I was working on some stuff. But the point I'm trying to make is we need some cool like we need some consistency. I do like that um, Showtime is investing in the career of Clarissa Shields and now Christina Hammond because at one point in time during the Clarissa Shields um, Tori Nelson buildup, Christina Hammond was going to be on that car, but she was going to be untelevised. And it was like, what's the point? So, you know, they canceled the fight for whatever reason. It was supposed to be an injury or the opponent pulled out, but I think it was smart because it didn't make any sense. Also, shout out to Tori Nelson because she has fought in in two of her last three fights. She's fought in Showtime fights. So that should motivate her some more to to play to what her style is. She's got to pick up her punch output. She's got to focus on getting in on the inside. And she's got to get in better shape. And I understand, you know, when it comes to women's boxing and them being the delicate women that they are and everything. And that's what I talk about a woman's body and everything like that. But it's like, all right, 
Tori Nelson, you're 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 a pressure fighter. You're not really like the slickster. You got to get it on the inside, sweetheart. You know, you got to go in and and and, and start. You know, like punt. They got to pick that punch output up. So even though she lost in those two fights, she still was on Showtime twice. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Let me get to the uh, Cl Clarissa Shields fight, and then we'll talk some more about women's boxing. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live.